Coming up on your favorite five minutes of WordPress, time to reflect. Are we living in the best time to be a WordPress professional? Pippin is back on the WP Minute Plus podcast. State of the Word is right around the corner. All that and more on the WP Minute. This episode of the WP Minute is brought to you by our friends at OmniSend, the top-rated email and SMS marketing platform for WordPress stores. Find out more at OmniSend.com. That's OmniSend.com. And give your brand the boost it deserves. Okay, your favorite five minutes of WordPress starts now. It's about that time of year where we reflect on our accomplishments, look ahead to goals we want to achieve, and hopefully appreciate the moment we're living in right now. Even if it's not your perfect place, there are so many people struggling throughout the world that the micro-controversies of WordPress could be seen as a luxury to some of them. We make our living through a piece of open source software that affords us the opportunity to be creative, to connect with other humans, and provide for our families. If I climbed back 100 years on the branches of my family tree, the Madeiras certainly weren't grappling with which YouTube thumbnail to pick or which free plugin has the highest rating to put food on the table. Earning a living has a whole new definition these days. The futurist in me looks ahead and asks, how long will this last? With the dawn of commercial AI, I have no idea where I fit in in all of this. Heck, I don't know where WordPress fits in in all of this. Hey Jarvis, publish a blog post about my day today. Reflect on how I was excited to receive a new gray jumpsuit from the Federation. My dinner shake was exceptionally delicious this evening. I recently had the chance to interview Pippin Williamson, an OG in the WordPress space, and more importantly, someone I call a friend. If you're interested to hear what his life has been like since selling his suite of products to Awesome Motive and starting a brewery in Kansas, give it a listen. I also listened to J.R. Farr share a story of his friend who passed away struggling with mental health. It made me think of my friend Clint Warren, who never showed up for that interview I had scheduled with him. I still think about him, even though we were just friends online. What does the WordPress community look like in 10 years? Right now, it's this chaos cloud animation of the Tasmanian devil chasing the Roadrunner. It's moving around, some good things, some bad things popping out of it. It's leaving its mark, but it's mostly in the software that we use. Should it be in the humans that we're connected with, with the outcome and the body of work it helps us to achieve? I still feel like the air got sucked out of the room when Sarah Gooding left the tavern. I'm getting DMs like, hey, someone told me you're the person to promote my stuff. Here's a press release. The business side of me is happy. Great. Buy a membership and network with other WordPress professionals. But me, personally, makes me wonder, is that all this part of the community is to you? And I get it. What a lot of open source is about. Here's the thing. It's free and I can use it however I want. But today, today I want you to remember that there's someone else on the other side of that code or that blog post. That we shouldn't take the community and the humans we have for granted whether it's Mullenweg or Awesome Motive or volunteers on the .org theme team. I believe our time with WordPress, as we know it today, is short-lived. We'll blink and the way we interact with the internet will be different. We'll miss the tug-of-war of Automatic versus the community. No, oh, really, we will. The excitement of installing that sweet new page builder tool will be forgotten. But I hope we still have each other. I hope the WordPress community continues to thrive long after the code stops. So what are you thankful for? In my professional life, I'm thankful for my job at Gravity Forms, the sponsors and members of the WP Minute, and you, the listener and the reader. Trying something new this week, a collaboration with my friends at The Repository. Here's a few headlines that they brought on their recent newsletter. Don't forget to sign up at The Repository. Click the links in the show notes. Plugin authors praise the latest attempt at adding live previews to WordPress.org. A fresh look at the state of wor- of the word for WordPress.org. This year's state of the word has a snazzy new landing page. And contributors reject the idea of paid sponsor tracks at WordCamps. Don't forget to check out the important links mentioned in the blog post and the newsletter today. If you're not subscribed to the newsletter, go to the wpminute.com slash subscribe to get that newsletter every week. There's also a video of the week where I share further insights into the 2024 theme. This time we're looking at the site editor and the header and footer template parts. And boy, oh boy, what a ride 
that was. I also have my interview with Pippin, as I mentioned before, on the WP Minute Plus podcast. And I interviewed Kelly Murrow of North Commerce. He's building an alternative to WooCommerce. Make sure you check out both of those interviews on the WP Minute Plus. That's it for today's episode. Get the weekly newsletter at the wpminute.com slash subscribe. Want to support the show and join a Slack group filled with WordPress professionals like you? Talk about the news, share your WordPress business content, and network with others. Head to the wpminute.com slash support and get access to our group. Support the show for as little as $5 or more if you feel we provided more value. Thanks to our pillar sponsors, Pressable, Bluehost, and Omnisend. Thanks to our Foundation Plus sponsors, WP World, Image SEO, and Hostinger. Thanks to all of our annual supporting members and you, the listener. Without your support, the WP Minute wouldn't be possible. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week.